Hello and welcome to a brand new video. In today's video, we're gonna be creating a free AI website and we're gonna be doing a quick tutorial on Builder.io, the latest and greatest in AI no-code website building platform slash web apps. We've done a ton of those and today we're gonna be teaching you exactly how to sign up, which by the way, there's a link in the description below in order to create your first website for free. We're gonna be giving it prompts, we're gonna be making making edits to the website, making uh, checks onto the integration of said website, and also looking at pricing and publishing our first website. The first thing you want to do is click the link in the description down below, and it's going to take you right here to the sign up page. So as soon as you click the link in the description, it's going to take you to this sign up page right now, and you can go ahead and sign in with Google or sign up rather, or you can sign up with GitHub or your own work email. So right off the bat, as soon as you sign up, uh, if you're using a browser that isn't really supported, uh, like builder.io, and I've seen this happen with a lot of other website builders, AI website builders, where you're like, oh, it's an unsupported browser, which will cause bugs and performance issues. All right, so I'll switch to Google Chrome and I'll meet you back here. All right, now that we are on Google Chrome, select a space type. Each space is tailored to a specific workflow. Your selection will configure your builder experience with the option to add additional spaces later as your needs evolve. For web development, prototypes designed to code, visual AI assisted code generation and development for any tech stack or code base. Or use this for headless CMS, page builders, and personalized content. Create and publish on-brand interactive content to a live website or application. So if you already have a website, go to the public space. If you want to create something from scratch, use the Fusion space. And today we're going to be creating from scratch. So we're going to continue on with Fusion. What am I? I am the developer, let's say. What's my, ta oh, it caught me. I, I'm not a developer. I don't know anything about code. And that's the beauty of these. So right now we're on the free plan. And when it comes to these prompts on these website AI generators, uh, I like to really tailor make the prompt in order for the AI generator to get an extensive understanding of the website that we're trying to build so that, uh, you know, it gives us something nice. And I want to... This is ChatGPT usually. Some of these websites come pre-made with a prompt guide, but today we're asking good old ChatGPT, hey, I am making a builder.io tutorial, and I want to make a habit tracker web app to show and test the platform as an example and to publish. So please give me a prompt to feed into it that tests everything to show our viewers. Create Okay, and the good thing about asking ChatGPT or any AI that you use for this is that it's gonna tailor make the uh, prompt to have you have something that is comprehensive. Create a modern responsive web app called Habit Flow, Habit Tracker where users can create, track, and visualize their ha daily habits. You want to also include logins, uh, toggles for making habits as complete, should use grids and animations, apply a modern theme with soft colors, praise holders for authentication and notifications to demonstrate integration points. All right. So let's copy this over here and go into Builder.io. Right now we're on the free plan, which you can access from the link below. Press enter, and now it creates the project. Let's see how long it takes. So I think I think this took about 10 minutes or so, and in the middle of it, it goes, I've been working for a while, should I keep going? And I say, yes, please continue going. But it has already given us a um, quite an integrated preview of habit flow the habit tracking app that we are currently working on and it decided to take it away because it's working on it as we go create profile settings so now we can create a profile if i'm not mistaken let's sign in so now we've signed in as a demo you can oh it has dark mode already integrated that is insane that's the dashboard you get a little uh cheeky graph you got the title right here switch to design mode and in design mode, you can just press whatever it is and change it. And we can just change it or ask it to change the selected element. Like you can press a selected element and then you can ask it, make this yellow, for instance. Right? Let's see if it, how long it takes it to make it yellow. I love this. We've already uh, created websites and web apps like so using Lovable, using Replit, using Base44. And I'd say that this is up there with one of the best um, as far as creations. I am absolutely in love with it. It looks very, very nice. 
it has changed it to yellow like that. It didn't take minutes and it's still going on working on whatever it is that we're doing. I respect it. I respect all of it. Active habits. You can have a profile right here. Can we add a habit like I asked it to? Add a habit right there. That's looking a little stupid. With, with these website creator platforms, um, usually we have re-edits, like the re-edit that we did to the colorway just now. And I really want to... Okay, let's see if it fixed it on its own. Add habit. It still looks weird. I'm going to actually take this to ChatGPT as well and have it write the re-edit for us. All right. Here's a cleanly worded re-edit prompt. Re-edit the habit pop-up so that it's perfect uh, aspect ratio display. So like the control all boxes inside are evenly spaced out. All right, let's take that. Let's apply it over here. And before we apply it, let's actually test out. It's still messed up. I don't like it. The add. And let's put this between quotes so that it can identify it. Remove the quotes from here remove the quotes from here and from here so that it can discern and hope for the best let's see this is my first proper re-edit all right so this took about two minutes or so <sighs> remove ad had its prop it's still working on it <sighs> come on fingers crossed oh my goodness look at that it absolutely fixed it now did it change the layout of it it did but I don't mind that at all because um, we can add, like, for instance, this one had a calendar. The other one had a calendar, uh, but now it doesn't. But at least now we can actually properly add a habit called John Smith. So, yeah, we also did a re-edit. And while it's still working on all of this, I'd like to actually visit the website and show you the pricing. Let's talk pricing. So we're currently operating on the free tier and... Right now, we have used about 13 out of 75 agent credits. We can ask for the full details. And I hope that this gives us, yes, it gives us intuitive. I love the website. So the free one, $0, obviously. The pro one is 25 bucks per user per month billed annually. And if you bill it monthly, it's 30 And for enterprise, much, much of these uh, platforms do that. They're like, okay, uh, for, you know, we'll tailor make the subscription based on your editor. So now that we've created, we've checked out the different uh, things that we can make with a web app and how fast it is and the product and what it looks like, I'd like us to actually, and we did re-edits as well, I'd like us to actually um, publish said website. So let's see if the free tier on the builder.io allows us to publish. All righty. So, uh, by the way, you can use your own custom domain if you use Hostinger, just saying. Apart from that, I want to create this beautiful website. Let's create this website. Sign in to GitHub. Oh, man. All right. Uh, much like you need Superbase to integrate and to publish a website on Lovable, you kind of need GitHub in order to do the same on um, Builder. You have to integrate with your builder.io and create an organization. And you can do all of that on both the free tiers on GitHub and on builder.io. And then you press the push the repo right here. And as soon as we push the repo, I think it came up with the fact that there was a specific error. Uh, it took some time where it kept giving me the same errors over and over again. But hey, that's not a negative thing. That's a positive thing because literally all it did was ask me to attempt to fix the error and then it actually just fixed it. So now we press push code right here on GitHub. And in order to actually host your app, you can use Hostinger or Netlify uh, and you can connect to Netlify or upgrade to Pro if you want to connect to an MCP server. And you'll have a full workable websites with a dashboard, with profile log in and log out, dark mode, whatever it is. I hope you found this video helpful. Give us a like if it did. Subscribe for more awesome vids. And I'll catch you in the next one.